Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and in today's video I will show you how to configure flaps using iNav and the OpenTX radio. The goal of today's tutorial is to assign using iNav and the OpenTX radio the flap function to set or one of the servos on the aeroplane. If your aeroplane has a wing with a dedicated servo to drive flaps, like here we are pretending this simple model of a model has, then we can make iNav drive the servo by the command coming from the radio. There are a few ways to do it. One is, for example, the loading conditions. The second one is the flap function in the modes. But from my perspective, the best, really the best way is just to use one of the sliders or a potentiometers on the radio to drive the servo over here and to change the deflection, the deployment of the flaps with this potentiometer. How to do it? Relatively simple. First, let's go to the mixer in the OpenTX and let's assign our potentiometer to the channel number 5. We will be using the S2 as our channel and we will want to connect the S2 with this server. Now, let's go to the configurator and verify if everything is working. As you can see, the channel 5 right now is changing where I move the potentiometer. So let's go to a mixer and let's find the servo that currently is driving the flap. It's servo with the index 3, which I just for the default value I locked in on the one value. Instead of one, let's find the channel 5 and set the weight to 100. Let's reboot and see what changed. Right now, the direct input from the potentiometer is driven to the to this server. Does it work like we expect? Well, not exactly. Look what's happening. It's working, but right now the neutral position is not on the left side of the potentiometer how I would expect it really to work. So this is not really a flap, it also can be raised to reduce the, the, the lift and uh, act as... Op what's the opposite of the flap? To be honest, I'm not really sure. In this example, this is not really what we want to do. We want to have the neutral, the, the flaps off when the potentiometer is fully to the left and flaps fully deployed when the potentiometer is fully to the right. So, let's modify the values on the radio connected with the channel 5. The value we are looking for is the weight and the offset. Default offset from 100 means that the value of the channel moves between minus 100 and 100. We want to not only to cut it by half, but also implement the offset of the same value as we have on the weight. So now, when the potentiometer is fully to the left, the flap will be retracted. If I will start turning the potentiometer to the right, at one point the flap got fully deployed and maximum amount of extra lift and of course the maximum amount of extra drag is implemented. Flap off, flap fully deployed. Of course it doesn't, doesn't have to be the potentiometer. We can easily for example connect the flap to the switch with exactly the same approach. Just instead of using the potentiometer we just assign the switch and flap off, flap half deployed, flap fully deployed. All we needed was uh, one rule in the mixer of the iNav that binds one of the RC channels to one of the servos and some, ba and some basic configuration on the OpenTX side. That's all. On the next video on the series I will show you how to make the crowbar breaking because it also can be done. 
that's all for today until the next one bye bye